Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Sunday, October the 28th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, you may have heard that uh, we're having a Senate race here in Texas uh, between Senator Cruz and Representative O'Rourke. It has become the most expensive Senate race in the country, uh, something that I believe the Democrats are going to regret uh, the day after the election when Senator Cruz wins. And they asked themselves a very simple question is, why didn't we spend all that money that we're spending in Texas in places like Nevada or Arizona or now New Jersey or Florida, uh, states that have become a lot more competitive? But nevertheless, they're spending the money here, and a lot of it has to do, of course, with the fact that they hate uh, Senator Ted Cruz. Over the last few days, we've had endorsements from newspapers, and two newspapers have endorsed uh, Representative O'Rourke. Uh, the first one is right here in Dallas, Texas, uh, the Dallas Morning News, which is frankly a newspaper that has been tilting. It's very anti-Trump, frankly, this newspaper. Uh, this is a newspaper that has really moved to the left. And uh, they once uh, endorsed, uh, for example, John McCain and Mitt Romney, but uh, they've certainly gone to the left in, in so many ways in their editorial positions. I'm not really surprised uh, that they endorsed uh, Representative O'Rourke. Over in Fort Worth, the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, not that familiar with that paper, but friends of mine have basically said the same thing, that the newspaper is tilting very much to the left in their editorial position. What is fascinating to me is not the endorsement. That, uh, that happens. What is interesting to me is the, what they're basically saying as the reason for their endorsement. What they're saying is that they want to bet on Beto, basically. That's what they're saying. You know, they, they think that the country needs someone like Beto because there's too much division, uh, too much screaming in Washington, and they, you know, they want people to work together. And why would they would <laughs> feel that such a person as Robert O'Rourke or Beto is beyond me? Uh, Congressman Robert O'Rourke is basically an ideological twin of Nancy Pelosi. I mean, he's voted with her most of the time, almost, I would say almost 100% of the time. He is a man who has called for the impeachment of President Trump. He is, with, without evidence, by the way, just, you know, without any, 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 any inquiry into it, he just says, I'm for the impeachment of President Trump. I mean, it's ridiculous to say something like that, but he said it. Uh, this is a man who has basically attacked the NRA and the Second Amendment. Uh, this is a man who believes that abortion after 20 weeks should be legal in the United States. He voted against a proposal in February to make abortion illegal after 20 weeks. So this is a man very much from the left who has shown absolutely no inclination whatsoever to move to the center. And why a man like that would all of a sudden bring people together or sit down and work with Republicans is beyond me. So I, I just think that, you know, the endorsement is extremely dishonest on the part of the Dallas Morning News and the Fort Worth Star-Telegram. Now, the good news, frankly, is that these endorsements make absolutely very little sense. In other words, the people, they're not changing anybody's minds. I, I doubt very much that somebody's going to say, okay, I'm going to vote for O'Rourke because of this endorsement. So they don't change anybody's minds. But the reasoning behind these endorsements, frankly, is disappointing. Because, yes, Ted Cruz has opinions, and Ted Cruz is a man who has fought the party. I'm willing to give him that. But Robert O'Rourke is an ideological twin of Nancy Pelosi. And why they think that that's going to make him a senator in, in Washington who's going to cross party lines is beyond me. Absolutely beyond me. Well, thank you for watching. We have all of these on YouTube. We have them on Twitter. We have them on my blog. And if October 28th is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.